we're going to do a conversion here. And we're going to start with a base 10 number and you're going to turn it into a base 5 number. The first thing to do here is going to be write out powers of 5. And we'll go start with the 0 power. 5 to the 0 is going to be 1. 5 to the 1st is 5. 5 squared is 5 times 5. 25 5 cubed is 25 times 5, which is 125, 5 to the 4th. So here it's starting to get a little bit tricky. So one thing we can do is open up our little calculator. And we'll go down to here, calculator. And I want to do 5 times 5 times 5. That is 5 cubed times another 5, 625. We're going to do it times another 5 again, 3125. So we had 625, 5 to the 5th, 3125. Okay, so I can stop here. The reason is I'm trying to figure out how many of each of these numbers are inside of my number I'm trying to convert from. So I stopped at 3125 because it's too big. There is no 3125s in my number 1374. So we already know there's going to be zero of these. So over here, I'm going to write how many. Actually, let's write it over here. How many? All right. So there's definitely going to be some 625s in this number. I'm going to go ahead and guess 2, but what we're really going to do is some long division here. So we're going to go 625 divides into our number 1374. And we're answering the question, how many 625s in 1374? Now, I guess 2 because... 2 times 600 is 1,200, and this is a little bit more than that. Uh, so that's a reasonable guess, but let's go ahead and actually figure this out. All right, I'm not great with numbers, so I'm going to go back to my calculator, and we're just going to go ahead and divide. So we got 13, and let's go, let's do some nice split screen right here. That worked well. So I got 1374, 1374 divided by 625 equals. So there's going to be 2 in here. And we're doing long division. So we go 2 times 625, 1250. And now we're subtracting. 4 minus 0 is 4. 7 minus 5 is 2. 3 minus 2 is 1. And 1 minus 1 is 0, which you typically don't write there. There's no more time 625 can go in. So we have a remainder of 124. All right, so that answers our first question. How many 5 to the 4th powers? We said there's 2. Now we're going to play the same game with the remainder. So we're going to repeat with the remainder. So that is how many 5 cubes, or how many 125s in 124. Well, we just missed it. There's no 125s in 124. It's too big. So the answer to this is 0. So put a 0 here. You could write a leading 0 down here. That's fine. Uh, so now we're going to go to the next smallest number, which is 25. How many 25s in 124? You may not even need to use long division here, but I'm going to anyways to keep this consistent. So we're going to have 4. 4 times 25 is 100. Subtract, and we're left with 24. 
So it's four remainder 24. So that means four 25s. So we got four right there. So next thing we're gonna do is go up the next row up here, how many fives? How many fives in the remainder, which is 24? As these numbers start to get small, you can probably do some of this without long division. But I'm just gonna keep going with long division here. So five times four is 20. And subtract, four minus zero is four. So it's four, remainder four. So we got another four right there. And now the easy one, how many ones are in four? So how many ones in four? And there's four ones in four. So there's four of them. And we get another four right here. Okay, so how do we write this number? The biggest place value is at the bottom right here. So this is the largest place value. And if we go up, we see the smallest place value. So we're usually working in base 10. So this would be the ones place, the tens, the hundreds, thousands, hundred thousands, uh, millions. But we're in base five. So this is the ones place. This is the fives place. This is the 25s place, the 125s place, 625s place. So we write our number out. We will go four, 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 zero to zero, except I totally just wrote it in reverse. You want to put the big place values first, two, zero, four, 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 like that. You don't need to include the leading zero. So you could write it out like this, but most people are not going to write the leading zero. So this is going to be your number. And a lot of times write a little base five down there, but that should be your base five number.